Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. This week is an exciting week for Delta State as we have two very special activities planned. First, we'll celebrate the 90th birthday of the university tomorrow with a series of special events. Secondly, we're looking forward to our annual pig picking event, which will take place this Friday and Saturday on campus. Pig picking was begun about 30 years ago by some alumni in our alumni association, and it has become one of our biggest events on campus each year. The annual cooking competition that's held there includes a schedule of entertainment and, of course, tailgating and football. This year's events include the 20th annual Delta State Triathlon and a 3 p.m. pep rally on Saturday that lead up to the ball game later that afternoon against Kentucky Wesleyan at 6 o'clock. Saturday is also DSU Day. That's a special day that we use to host uh, off-campus students who are prospective uh, matriculants of Delta State and it gives them an opportunity to tour the campus and meet our students, our faculty and staff and see our beautiful campus. My guest today is Jeffrey Ferris, Alumni Director here at Delta State. Jeffrey, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit, if you will, about the events that are scheduled the weekend for pig picking. Well, President LaForge, we are bursting at the seams with activities from the athletic side of things, the academic side of things, different constituent groups that are coming back to campus to, to just enjoy the environment that Statesman Park, Delta State University, Cleveland community has to offer. Uh, we look forward to having the swimming and diving team back on campus for their annual reunion. Right. The FIMU will be hosting a uh, bunco tournament for people to sign up and enjoy, and not to mention all of our Statesman Park activities. We're looking forward for another great cooking competition. We had 27 plus cook teams last year. Um, shout out to Elise Jenkins, who's always been the person who leads the judging in that area. We look forward to another, you know, great number of you know participants. Um, and then the activities Friday evening with live entertainment um, leading into Saturday where the park will open up at 12 noon with a live broadcast from one of our local radio stations. Uh, leading into the Legacy Tent that will be available for all of our alumni legacies to have a place that they know that their parents can tailgate on the park. And if they show up between 1 and 2 p.m. that day, they'll be able to take their picture with the statesman and the, or the okra. So it ought to be a fun time for them. And, uh, of course, you can't have a Statesman Park activity without good barbecue tickets. Uh, and this year, um, you can go to our new website, uh, www.dsupickpicking.com. It's your one-stop shop for pick picking this year. Uh, of course, um, um, not to mention the other activities going on, um, we'll have DSU Day, which we're very excited uh, to support the incoming prospective students that will be back on our campus. So it's just fun fun times for everybody on our campus. You bet. Are there any new things you want to tell us about that are happening this year? Well, the alumni office um, is always here to support the life of the university and different other departments on campus that would like to be involved. And this year we've teamed up with Delta State Intramurals with Kirk Manzel, and we're going to host a cornhole tournament um, the day of Pick Picking on Statesman Park. So you can go on to uh, pickpicking.com right now and sign up. It's uh, $5 per person, $10 per team. All proceeds will go back to the intramurals. Uh, program and uh, and also if you happen to win it'll be a hundred dollar cash prize for the winner and the team the team winner that there is. you go so, that's so that'll one. be a fun new adjustment another incentive to come out that yeah. day good now for our colleagues on campus uh, students faculty staff uh, those in the community our retired staff and faculty what can they do to contribute to this day in hosting all the people who are going to be coming well just just like you know we hear all the time we, we want to um, lay out the green carpet for our guests uh, when they arrive back on campus and and um, for just our faculty and staff that get so involved in pig picking that set up different um, uh, departments and have a presence on our campus just to be a, you know a welcoming um, friendly face when our guests come back to come come back to campus so should be a should be a great day for everybody involved well, that's great thank you we appreciate everything your office does in organizing this event and we look forward to being there with you well, it's gonna be exciting times so you we bet. look forward to it you bet thanks again a reminder to all of you that tomorrow is our 90th birthday celebration, and it's open to everyone. Details can be found at our website, deltastate.edu backslash 90 years. Also, our second international conference on the blues is scheduled for October 5th and 6th, and will feature a well-known blues scholar, some musicians, and others. The conference is being sponsored by our Delta Center for Culture and Learning, and offers an opportunity to learn about the Delta Blues music in the place where it was created. For more information, more information, go to our conference website, deltastate.edu backslash blues. Registration is still open for the event. And please be sure to keep in touch with us regarding all the events and activities that take place on our campus by going to our general website, deltastate.edu. 
Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Jeffrey. We'll Thank see you. you at Pig Picking, and we'll see you next time on another edition of this Fireside Chat.